If you can master supply and demand, you will make a lot more money trading. For this video, I have personally gone through all the work of labeling all the sections for you so that you can go back and forth as needed. But if you want this to work for you and you really want to unleash the true power of supply and demand, do not skip anything in this video. I'm going to start by teaching you what exactly supply and demand is, why you should trade supply and demand zones. We're going to get into how to identify and how to draw supply and demand zones. And of course, how to trade these zones and when to enter. And to top it all off, if you make it all the way to the end of this video, you'll even get to see the way I trade supply and demand. So what is supply and demand? Supply and demand is very similar to support and resistance, but instead of supply and demand being walls kind of like support and resistance, they're going to be zones. Supply is going to be an aggressive selling zone and demand is going to be an aggressive buying zone. These aggressive movements show us that big banks and big institutions are entering and exiting the market. And in doing so, they're pushing the market in that direction. These candles show that there is aggressive selling going on and that there's a lot of selling momentum pushing the price down heavily. These candles show that there is a lot of buying momentum pushing the price up. This is exactly what you want to look for when trading supply and demand. These candles tell us that big money has entered the market. If you see small candles, like these, this means nothing. We don't want to do anything when we see this because there's no real volume and no real momentum. And of course, no real movement being caused by the big institutions. Why should you trade supply and demand? Let me tell you why I personally trade supply and demand. Because I want to trade with the big banks. I want to react when they enter the markets so that I can be along for the ride. And the best way to see when they're entering the markets is by waiting for supply and demand. Supply is when the market is going down aggressively and demand is when the market is going up aggressively. So we want to see these momentum candles to show us that big money has entered the market. And remember this, we don't have the money to move the markets. Even if you have a few million dollars to put into a trade, it's not enough to move the markets. So let's say you had Intel and you knew for a fact this source was 100% reliable. Elon Musk told him, he saw the filings and everything that whenever Tesla came down to $200, that Elon Musk was going to buy $50 billion worth of Tesla. Of course you would take that opportunity. It's literally free money. And all this, of course, is hypothetical because that is considered insider trading, which of course is illegal. Using that scenario, just know that the people buying at this level are Elon Musk injecting that $50 billion into Tesla. The last thing that you want to do is trade against him, which is what most retail traders do. And now that you know why you should trade it, let's take a look at how you can actually find these supply and demand zones. You're going to start by looking for at least three momentum candles in a row. Then you want to find where the move started, which in this case is right here. Then you want to mark the previous candle using the rectangle tool. Here, let me the previous candle right here. And let me move that over. Then you want to drag this out just to give it time to come into this box. And that's going to serve as our demand zone. And what we're going to want to do is wait for a price to come back to this area and then enter our position. If you would have bought in the demand zone, you would have made some good money. Here's another example. Another way to create a supplier demand zone is look for a strong level that keeps getting wicked. You can see right here, we keep getting these wicks just below this. These wicks are showing me there is a lot of liquidity and that people keep buying this up. So I am going to draw a demand zone right here in this zone. Stretch it out even further. And once again, I'm going to wait for a pullback for an entry and then I'm looking to ride it up. And right here we have our pullback back to this zone, followed by strong bullish movement. And now that we've identified supply and demand zones, let's make sure that we know how to trade them. So now I'm going to start off by looking for three bullish momentum candles. So we got three right here, four right here. Then you want to go back to where the move started, which in this case, the move started right here. Once again, you want to draw a rectangle around the candle before it. Then you can either set a limit order and wait for it to make the trade automatically, or you can wait for it to come back down and manually enter it. This is the way I prefer to do it because I have a lot more control over the situation. We have confirmation just right here. You're going to want to have your stop just below the demand zone and then target the next key level. 
and watching how it plays out. This played out perfectly, just rinse and repeat. Since you stuck around and I can see that you're serious about this, it's time that I gave you a little secret sauce. I'm gonna show you how I trade supply and demand. When I trade, I personally don't like relying on one signal for my trade. I need to see multiple factors of confluence before I get in the trade. So we got three bullish candles right here and where the move started is right here. So now we have our demand zone. I'm gonna give that some space. So the first thing I'm looking for is just the demand zone. Next, I'm gonna need another signal to tell me, hey, it's go time. That can be a trend line, that can be consolidation, that could be a sweep of liquidity. Anything along these lines, it could be a major key level. It's going to give me more confidence in a trade. So when I draw my levels, I am looking for something like that to fill me in and say, hey, a move is coming. And, and you should notice an increase in volume along with it. So now watching this play out, okay, we come back here, we retest. These wicks show that there is liquidity in this area. So they're telling me there's still more in this area. All right, and we get another retest here and you can see that there is more liquidity being formed in this area, which tells me we're getting ready for a move. Now that we're here in this zone, I'm going to drop down to the one minute. This is actually where I get my sniper entries. And I'm going to wait for a higher high to be made on the one minute for my entry. So. All right, right there, we got our higher high. Right here. So I'm taking my entry right here. Stop loss below the demand zone and my target. I have to zoom out to the 15 minute and my target is right up here at the next key level. It's going to be this 458 level. So now I'm going to let this ride out and we smack right through it. It's really as simple as that. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, be sure to leave those down below in the comments. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, don't be greedy. Be sure to share this with a friend and smash the like button. If for some reason you made this far and haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.